Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 20. Horror by the River We, as a free-thinking, intelligent species, tell stories. To teach lessons, whether they are heartwarming, like Cat in the Hat, or downright terrifying, like La Llorona. But some stories are rooted in a little more truth than fiction. Like the group of teenagers who wanted to relax by the Santa Cruz River in Tucson, Arizona, when they found themselves part of a real nightmare. And soon, they'd know fear by its first name, Maria. Vamos a averiguar. Hello, paranormal poet. For the sake of privacy, my name is Chris, and I have a story I have been meaning to tell you. I don't remember the date, but a few years back, when I was a teenager, it was an ordinary day in Tucson, Arizona. The hot sun beamed down on us and made us think of one thing, water. Being near the Santa Cruz River was a bonus, though I never swam in it, but at least being near it with the cool breeze made it worth it. Anyway, one night my two brothers and I decided to head down to the Santa Cruz River at night to find something productive to do. We were inside most of the day, and there's only so much you can do to keep yourself occupied. Plus, it would be nice to get out of the house for a while and take in the fresh air. We got our things and drove on out to the river. It was around 10 p.m. at night and pitch black already. We had gotten out of the car and started walking down a heavily walked trail. The trees were sparse now, but later they would begin to encompass the trail. It made it feel like the forest was coming down on you very claustrophobic for some. On our walk, we had our flashlights on the trail and made small talk. As we neared the river, we stopped in our tracks when we heard a woman screaming. It wasn't clear if she was screaming for her life or crying, but it was paralyzing hearing her. We looked at each other and I could see in my brother's eyes the little anxiety that they felt. We cautiously walked closer, but the screaming got louder. <coughs> this time we could hear she was definitely crying. The sound of the river wasn't loud enough to cover her cries. Then we saw her. My brother's light shined on her first, then all of our lights did. In the tree line was a white old timey dress. She then began to walk out more, and now we could see her face. Long black hair streaked down her face, looking wet from possibly the river. The most chilling part was her eyes, which when turned my way, there were no irises, just black. Then I remembered the legend of La Llorona, and we bolted. As we were running away, I heard a blood-curdling scream. But this time, it felt like it was in my own ears. This terrified me to run even harder and faster. We broke through the tree line and got to the car and we put it in drive. And we peeled out of there fast and back home. I kept the story to myself until now. I didn't believe in the legend. But I would be close-minded and in denial if I simply ignored what I saw. I am confident. I saw and heard the cries of La Llorona. If you enjoyed this video, and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.